Greetings on behalf of the Fredericktown Homestead. I'm not in uh, Ohio today. I'm in uh, Kentucky. And uh, the grass is green down here. It's uh, I got lots of old tobacco barns down here. Uh, used to grow tobacco in all these fields. And a lot of the places that are now woods used to grow tobacco. You got a lot of these purple flower trees here, a lot of them. Uh, sure would be nice to have one of them on the homestead. Yeah, we can start home. Well, I'm going to be over there by before noon and uh, to pick them up, and uh, hopefully they'll load up by maybe one, maybe two, maybe three, hopefully four, and uh, we'll start the six-hour ride home. Uh, if I had a lawn like this one to mow, oh, I think of the compost I could get. They just obviously just leave it feed the grass, but if it was me, I'd want to compost it. Yeah, this is what Kentucky's like. The cats and the dog, they, uh, they didn't have me last night, didn't have nobody. I'm thinking I'm going to ask my Amish friend the one that did the plowing. I think I'm going to ask him to come up and see to the cats and the dog once a day. I'll pay him. And uh, it's quite a treat for a 14 year old to be paid cash money because most often is anything he does his dad gets paid and that's all just part of his rent for living on the farm. But uh, if I pay him directly I'll ask his dad first. That's what you do. You ask their dad. Uh, one thing about down here is there's a lot of eastern red cedar. I watched a video. Stony Ridge Farm was sawing up an eastern red cedar, cedar this morning. And uh, boy, there's a lot of them down here. There's one right there. Uh, I don't see any others right here handy by, but there are some. Oh, there's some. There's one there. And that's all I see looking around. Eastern red cedar, it's also called aromatic red cedar because it smells real nice. It's bright red, almost purple inside with a white sap layer. Very pretty wood. Uh, love to have some at the homestead to play with. I go down to Gallipolitz to get my eastern red cedar from one of my Amish friends. His dad lives down there. But, uh, just thought I'd check in before I go over to pick them up. It's real pretty here. It's kind of overcast morning, but maybe 45 degrees. Cool, but not cold. Not windy. Pretty nice. This looked like a good spot to stop and check in. I need somebody to be at the homestead when I'm away. I'm leaving the end of next week on an eight-day trip to Wisconsin, and uh, I need somebody to be on the place. I, I'll get my Amish friend for this upcoming trip, but I do trips like this often, as often as possible. That's what I advertise for, is the long trips. They're the ones that make me the real money. Uh, yesterday was a 400 mile day. Today will be a 400 mile day. So that's uh, pretty good money. 85 cents a mile for these trips. My prices are going up since the uh, Fuel prices have increased. 
They'll continue to go up as the fuel prices continue to increase. I'm sure we'll see $5 fuel before too long. It's not going up quite as quick as I thought it might with the failed election, but uh, it is going up. Kentucky, I bought gas here this morning for $2.55. I filled up on that, but uh, up home it's $2.79, $2.89, and going up all the time. Everybody's going up. Yep. I look forward to getting back home, laying in the shop and mowing the lawn. Hopefully we'll get some lawn mowing weather tomorrow. That would be nice. Seeing the cats and the dog. If you'd like to get a hold of me, if you'd like to be a part of the Fredericktown Homestead, there's uh, room there to grow your own food. I'll teach you what I can. I was Born in 1951, I learned from a guy born in 1896. That's uh, the old ways. I know a lot of the old ways and I embrace the new ways. I'd like to have a YouTube channel. But if you'd like to get a hold of me, we'll use the new technology. That's jbthemilker at gmail.com. JB, my name, the milker, like I milk cows. Three words, jbthemilker at gmail.com and uh, if you give me an email I'll get back to you I'll probably give you my phone number and we can talk over the phone I'm 93% deaf whoops 97% deaf I almost gave myself too much credit but I have a cochlear implant and I can hear well with that I scored 100% on the voice recognition test last time I took it so uh, I can hear okay as long as I got my CI and my cochlear implant. I wear a hearing aid on the other side, and I got an appointment this week to go and have my uh, hearing aid. And I'll get my old one back. I got a loaner now, but I pay 300 bucks this week to uh, get my own back with a whopping three-month guarantee. Uh, the warranty on the last repair was one year and it was 19 months ago so I have to pay full whack to have this one fixed 300 and something dollars 300 and almost 400 dollars but uh, I'll be back in hearing this loaner works okay but it's not mine it was nice of them to loan it to me but uh I'll have my own back by next Saturday when I go to Wisconsin. Um, yeah, get back to me if you like to grow your own food, if you like to live on a big farm, if you like to grow animals, produce, be amongst the Amish community, get back to me. JBTheMilker at gmail.com. All right, that's it from Kentucky. I might get to you one more time today. I don't know. Maybe not. God bless.